is about that high. I've got a smaller set of jacks that are about that high. And if you've got giant old hands, maybe it's that high. If you got tiny hands, maybe you need to go like that. But there's almost always a way to measure for your jack seat and get good at it. Like how about your hands a little small and so you go thumb width past. There's just a way to do it without pulling out your tape measure and looking cross-sided all the time. Okay, so first you knock that out. I'm pretty sure it'll fit. If it doesn't, I'll trim it later. Next, you get your bar in past your jack seat in a back cut and a wedge seated. that smaller tree right there. So it's gunned. Now you set your jack. The wedge is just for safety. It's to protect the jack in case the wind picked up and to protect yourself in case that jack fails catastrophically. Now, keep in mind, the bark is about that thick. It doesn't matter too much, but you need at least the center of the ram to be on good solid wood. Now you pump it up to somewhere where you think it will be. I think 5,000 pounds is gonna be enough for this tree. You don't wanna go too far and pinch yourself in your undercut. So you got it at 5,000 PSI. That's roughly half of this jack's capacity. So that's 22 and a half tons of force. Okay, now you're gonna put an undercut in. And since you're a good cutter and you just remembered where you gunned your back cut, you can match your cuts up without doing too much goofing off. So we're going to go ahead and put an undercut in it 
The cuts will be relatively matched up and we won't have to trim too much stuff. Remember, the jack's at 5,000 PSI. Remember that. tell you pressure went up so that means we're gonna have to do a little bit of wedging and a little bit of jacking on this tree Now you try to keep up with it for a little while, and that's it. Now you get out of here. That's it. 